this video, we'll demonstrate how to correct the boot configuration for use after performing a restore, HSR, or virtual boot when the system doesn't start. First, load the machine in question to the storage craft recovery environment for Windows. For this exercise, it's not important that the time zone be accurate or that networking is enabled. Click Tools and select Boot Configuration Utility. Deselect the option to hide advanced options. In most scenarios, using auto repair will overcome boot troubles and allow the system to boot. This video assumes that the auto repair did not remedy the boot issue. Within the top pane, choose the partition containing a Windows operating system. Click Manage. Within the Manage window, select all entries and delete them. Select the Additional Boot Tools radio button. Click Patch MBR. Select the operating system kernel version that most closely matches the restored operating system. The legacy option is to be used on server 2003 and older operating systems. Vista is to be used with server 2003R2 to server 2008. In addition, Windows 7 should be used for anything newer than server 2008R2. Select the BCD Tools radio button. Select Install BCD. If prompted that the machine is bootable, select Yes. Select Additional Boot Tools and toggle Active. Close the Boot Configuration Utility. Click Tools and select Disk Part. Use the following commands. List Disk. Review the output and identify the disk in which the Windows operating system is installed. In this example, it's Disk 0. List Partition. Review the output and identify the partition where the Windows operating system is installed. Active. This sets the active flag on the partition. Close the Disk Part window to return to the Recovery Console. Close the Shadow Protect Recovery Console to restart the system and attempt to load the restored operating system. For more information on the StorageCraft solution, visit the StorageCraft support community for how-to videos, user guides, and knowledge base articles. <music>